Hi, I'm Roy Huntington, editor of American Handgunner Magazine. Today we're going to talk about something that's very important to shooting a handgun, and that's the trigger press. Now we're going to illustrate this today by using a, what is essentially a single action trigger press. And it doesn't matter what kind of a gun it is, as long as it's a single action trigger press. And believe it or not, if you have a 1911 or a Colt single action like this one, or a Springfield Armory XDM, a striker fired gun, they're all essentially single action trigger presses. And so pay attention, and we're going to teach you a little bit at least about that all-important point, which is how do you press the trigger so you don't disturb your sight picture. Now let's take a look at a 1911. The vast majority of 1911s are single action guns, so the hammer is cocked when you go to fire the gun. We've cleared this gun, it's safe. You want your comfortable firing grip, pad of the finger on the trigger, remember your dime balanced on the front sight there, so you want a consistent straight back press. With a 1911 you may actually feel a little trigger movement before the hammer falls. You press, press until the hammer falls. What you don't want to do is hurry it, anticipate it, torque it left or right. If I have a perfect sight alignment and then I go, I'm in a hurry, I've just missed my target. Watch a really experienced shooter and if they press and there's no round in the chamber, it looks just like that. Nothing moves but the hammer. Now this has not been a comprehensive overview or any kind of thing that resembles training on how to press a trigger. What I mostly want to do is just introduce you to some things that you need to keep in mind as you go on on your own and learn more. I'm Roy Huntington from American Handgunner Magazine and thanks for joining me in my office today.